the lake. So we back at it again. Hey, Monday night. So we back at it again. Hey, tell your friends that we back at it again. Hey, hey, hey. Happy New Year, everybody. We made it to 2020, fam. Yes. We're the Jetsons, cars, and everything. We we still ain't got that yet, but you know, it's a brand new year, brand new decade, y'all, and your girl is feeling fresh and new. Okay. okay. As you see, Jeff got the ball. Oh, head. yeah, we are switching. We're switching <laughs> up on y'all. We brand new. New hair, who this? You oh. feel me? Jeff that shaved off the ball. He done got rid of all the, the X's, the past, everything that's attached to the hair. He done left it in 2019. He left the hair in 2019, everything dead. I copped, copped me some hair, you know. Yes. Okay. So, you know, I, I had like to switch it. it up for y'all. You like? Yeah. You like? Thank you. <laughs> Still doing the makeup this year? I am. I am, you guys. Still dog sitting this year? I mean, <laughs> hey, if y'all gonna pay me, I'll it. I don't care. Depending on where you stay at, where you live. Right? Modeling this year, too? I mean, hey, maybe. I, you know, I'm ready for all the opportunities <laughs> that's on the horizon for me. Okay? okay. So, you know, whatever opportunities come my way, and it seems like, you know, under God's will, always. But uh, if it's God's will for me to do it, you know, that's what I'm gonna step into and I'm gonna walk into. You know, so how you feeling for the new year? I'm feeling good. I uh, just want to work myself harder. Um, I try eating healthy, but, you know, I'm already eating out again, so. Um, okay. <laughs> so, you know, it's all good. Just more money. I want more money this year, so. Ah, uh, that's so, very good. That's yeah, always a so good goal. Get it. So we're going to get, get money. it. Get money. And I want to take our things to the next level as well. I want to start. Yes. Um, one of the things is... Um, Probably picking up some time to interview some people. So I think that we have the profile ready to interview some people. So All we got right. the media credentials. Uh, you know. I just want to fix up my home a little bit. That's why I want some more money before I start inviting. <laughs> people like poo over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, because I know her manager. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at John P. He knows me. He's you know in the BK, industry. You don't you? I don't know BK. <laughs> I see him at my church. He was at, he was at the Dream City Church of Atlanta. I know. We can, we I saw can, him there. We can there. make something shade. I'm walk in the press up. one day. Ask for I'm, walk away where? In press. Ask for seat. I'm not going to do that. In the Kurt restaurant. <laughs> That's another one. Nah, but you know, I know a few of the people managers, so I'm just going to reach out and show them what we make, that we deliver the views. I mean, Shout out to Remy Mafia, we deliver the views. <laughs> <laughs> we deliver the views. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, you know. So, so it's if, probably going to be happening real soon. If y'all watching, I'll do it, you know. If y'all down for it, I'm down for it. I'm not uh, interviewing some of the, the past guys like DJ Tracy, Drew. I would like. Oh, all right. I would mind talking to lovely Mimi. I, I love her. That's a good one. I think that's possible. But you know, she kind of little bit on the rise right now. She on wilding out, so I don't know. She might not. Possible. Everybody <laughs> like some some media, you know. True, true, true. You know. Let her thighs. She seemed down to hurt. Good down to hurt too. Yeah, she really seemed really cool. I really want to get my when I get my money stacked up. I really want to go to her salon and get my nails done. But I gotta get some funds together for that. Same. So, you know. But anyway, you know. Well, you guys, if y'all want to, in the comments down below, drop some, you know, whatever your New Year's resolution. If you don't do resolution, I'm just saying because I don't do resolutions. But whatever your goals are for 2020, the vision that God has given you for 2020, whatever you was looking forward to for 2020, okay, put it down in the comments below so we can discuss, okay. So anyway, you guys, we're back with another Love and Hip Hop review. Um, this is Love Hip Hop New York, um, season 10, oh, yeah, this is season 10, 10. Mm -hmm. episode 4, 6, is it 6? I think we missed 5. Oh, oh my bad y'all, the holiday is caught up. No, nah, you good, uh, uh, that's how I'm keeping up with her, I think. Oh, okay, 6, yeah, don't remember, yeah, six. The, don't remember the name of yeah, the episode, six. do you remember the name of the episode? No. I never do. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We be slacking on that. I was. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get back on Atlanta, it. You was doing good. <laughs> I, I know, man. I, I just be just started watching the episode that I just be forgetting. But anyway, it'll be a, it'll Very be in the description six. box. Yes, it's episode six. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anywho, go by kind of quick, huh? Go by kind of quick. 
I'm ready to see Olivia and all them. So why right, I'm trying to figure out how where the rest of the people gonna come in this store. Right. I'm what? intrigued. I'm intrigued. We'll see. Um, so who you wanna start with? Uh, Ruby, Mom, and Papa Luz, because they're the quickest ones to get through. <laughs> That's true. I didn't I? First of all, let me say I did not know there was a Remy Mafia. I did not <laughs> you know thought that, Fat I Joe was just talking. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, no, no offense to Remy Ma or no, but I just don't. I don't get into her like that. Like I just don't. I think she's a dope person. I think she's a beautiful woman. I I love everything that she's doing. I just I I don't get into her like that. I just don't. Like I don't know. I don't. I didn't know her fan base. I didn't. Didn't know she had a fan base. But <laughs> I did. I didn't. I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm just being honest. Like I really. You about to come out with a she's. Oh man, <laughs> please don't kill me, Remy Ma. Like I, I really didn't know. But that's what I'm saying. I'm glad that she's on the platform so I can get to know more about her. Because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't know. Do you feel like she's using the platform? What using? She's been on a few seasons. Cause I, I went back like... and watched season six, and she was. <laughs> I feel like now that she done had the baby and her and Papoos are kind of like on a relationship front, I feel like now she's going to start using the... For, for, I definitely feel like it definitely worked for her when she first came out. Yeah. And, like, she had... She just came out and then she got it because everybody was, like, wanting to know, like, you know, how was it in jail? Da, 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 da. We was like, oh, my God, she's finally out. Da, 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 da. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? And then, like, she did the all the way up and I feel like we was really, really into it. And I really felt like her being on the show helped propel that even more right but like i said she should have dropped the album then like she should have been like jt writing in the writing up in the penitentiary and then ready to drop an album when she came out like that's what to me i feel like would have really capitalized and really would have like really would have gotten her back like boom boom but hey teach your song something Sometimes things happen, life right. is differently, and who's who's to say, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely not a music critic, who am I? So she could drop this album and it'd be she popping and it'd be everywhere. I don't know, I don't know. She'd be, but she, you cannot deny she's, a, I mean, I feel like she's she's iconic, you know? I agree. So, I agree. but also we get to her and Papoose. They sitting down. Papa was looking nice with his little jacket, y'all. He little glasses. I'm like, oh, this is a look. Daddy. Okay. <laughs> look at you. Giving look upscale, refined gangster, like, at the right. restaurant. Like, it was real cute. Like, and, and Remy had her matching look. I don't know what that was real fur, faux fur. I don't care. Come but on. Look, I'm talking about both of them. I mean, no, faux fur is in, though. Like, you know, we're trying to save the animals. It's PETA. Like, you know. A word. I was trying to be, I was being for real. I hope it was both her. But anyway, they was cute with matching their furs. Hers was yellow. His was black. That was real cute. But anyway, they was sitting out talking. And she was talking about how um, she was thinking about what Fat Joe said to her in the past. Or, you know, the previous episode. And about her getting good in the gym. I mean, not in the gym, Lord. In the um studio. <laughs> Look at you. She do music. <laughs> no, I really said that she's, her body is amazing. Like, I wish my body looked like that. Um... Hey, yo, get your neighbors in the control, fam. <laughs> yo. They're a little too close for comfort. Anyway, uh, so they talk, she's talking about how she wants to really take what Fat Joe said to heart, and she's going to go to Miami to finish her album. And I'm just like, why do you need to go to Miami and, and uh, finish your album or record your album? Why can't you do it in New York? I, I don't I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't, I don't do music, so maybe... I don't know, maybe different cities bring a different feel to your songs, or I don't know, maybe it's a distraction. I don't know, I didn't get that. But Papoose is like, screw, well, I will be able to go with you to Miami, but I'm trying to start working on my career now. So I got, I just dropped my album. I got different distribution centers. You heard the album? Did you? Well, let us know if y'all listen to it <laughs> down in the comments below. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, so he was saying he got people, did different distribution people looking into it. I, I don't know where they at. I don't know if he meant they was in New York or whatever, but anyway, he got itch to do. Okay. So he can't, he can't go with her to Miami. And so he was like, well, how about you let the baby stay with me up here in New York and you go to Miami? And she laughed. She's like, ha ha. Like, she's like, uh, uh, like, ain't no way that this finna happen. Like. I still am breastfeeding. Like, I, I I can't even, like, pump enough breast milk for you to be able to feed her for that long. And so she was like, no, nah, the baby will just come with me. 
And I'm like, why are they making such a big... I feel like they really just be trying to make stuff out of Remy and Papu's story. Like, it's just like, girl, y'all got enough money to afford about three, four nannies. Like, stop playing. And you can breastfeed in the morning. And if you want to bring a baby to the studio, that's fine. But like I said, I'm pretty sure you can afford plenty of nannies to help take care of the baby during this period. I'm not saying you need nannies to, like, raise your baby. But, you know, while you handling your business... There's nothing wrong with having like two. I'm I'm a, I'm just saying I don't know how many nannies you need, but one or two should be enough. Maybe three. I don't know. Hey, what you think about that? Uh yeah, I think that it was sweet that Papoose was offering to keep the baby and everything. I mean, it just shows the dynamics of their relationship. Uh, I think that's gonna make Remy look even better. Her being a mother and not wanting to leave her daughter's <laughs> side. That's true. Cause uh, some of these chicks just be. Dropping the baby. For some of you in love with hip hop. <laughs> we see they've child in how many years? So it's just really, I just feel like they're getting a really great edit and that was cute. And I don't know particularly why sometimes celebrities or people with money don't want nannies. Um, I know last season, I don't know if you remember when Sam said she just don't trust people around her child. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. be honest, she was kind of like, I know I need the help. It's a lot. But I just don't want to trust nobody around my baby like that. And, um, but I think that I'm, it looks great that she's making it happen because later on we see her in the booth. Yeah. <laughs> with the, the phone with the I don't even know what she was saying. I just thought she was doing, but I don't. And I'm the queen of the world. Yeah. Uh, 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 she's gonna put that on the track. I need that on the track. Right. Like all the other folks be doing. You gotta get, put it on a loop. <laughs> beat around it. Shoot. Look. What then, was that? Baby Junior or something? Yeah, Baby Junior's gonna be the next alpha. I'm ready to forward to Yana. I need for you Jay to drop it. Jake got on the track. Right. <laughs> I ain't never seen a ceiling. In my whole life. Ooh, I hate Come. that lie. Make me feel so poor. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, but she on brown skin, girl. Hey. Your skin just like hers. And so we might be on to something. Keeping the baby from right. getting on that Keep, album. Right, keep the baby on the album, Remy. Stop playing. Ooh. But anyway, while she's in the studio, she gets a call for Fat Joe. Yeah. Um, can you tell us what they was talking about? Uh, I know that he was checking on her. That was the premises of the call. Just making sure she was on her grind, keeping on top of things, and she felt like she keeping that fire up under him because that is like her mentor. Mm. Um, and just also saying that the Remy Mafia is up under under him. Like, where's the album? Like, what's going on? Like, when's the last time we got a Remy Ma song in general? To be honest, like the album, on the song. Um, so, that's basically what the phone call was talking about with me. And she was updating him about Papoose. But, uh, yeah. pretty much all. Yep, they so, see. pretty much it on that one. So, hopefully she have an album dropping before the season is out. Yeah, that would be smart. If she dropped in, like, before the season's over, then, like, performed a song on a reunion. <laughs> you, love, you, love, you love a reunion. I love a reunion. I like a good reunion <laughs> performance. Now, what can I say? You know, Miami, they had did it up. They had did, made a little Yeah, little that, that was sing. a set to go. They had a little <laughs> set. Had it ready. They had it fine. See, I was like, oh, okay. Ooh. But since then, we ain't got no more. Dang. But then again, they probably had to just do something to fill time because Miami, you know, didn't have a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of stories going on. Them. So we got a lot of press for that. Would you be down to travel like to New York if we got press for the reason? Yeah, I love New York. I've yeah. been uh, several times. We got a scene. They might do it at Talapere Studio, but I'll apply for it and all that good stuff. But I'm ready to go to Genesca. Yo, I'm not finna, all I got to say is, I'm not finna be saying sis name like this all around. Her name oh. is Jenna Ski to me. But okay. <laughs> a Jenna Ski, am I saying it right? Jenna Ski. Jenna Ski? Okay, Jenna Ski. I'm not finna be doing that. Like, what is this? She had like, she had, like, what is she, AK or something? I'm confused. Like, it's not like she's trying to bite, but I'm just saying, I mean, it just sounds a little weird to me. It's not like, like, why, what is up with this little cattle call thing? I don't get it. It's saying so. 
It's what? It stands out. It stands out. It stands out. I guess hey. in the beanie bop world, I guess you gotta figure out a way to make yourself stand out, right? She's doing it. I like her. I do like her personality, though. I'm not, I'm just not, I'm not gonna do that with the name. I'm not gonna do that. Every time I say her name, I'm not gonna do that. But we see her in the booth. She, everybody was in the, so a lot of people was in the booth this, this episode for some reason. <laughs> She just see it. Right, she just see in the booth and she's like, Ooh. and like, which, who's on there? Mitchy D Rich. is up in there watching us. She's doing her thing. I ain't gonna lie. Her her stuff do sound good. They do. I'm not gonna flex. Like, every time I hear Jenniski, it do sound good. I agree. I like, at least I can like the, she not mumble rapping. I can hear what she's saying. She ain't talking about no... No, you know what I'm saying? No fluff stuff. She definitely baby better than uh, Sydney Sky. Like, <laughs> or whatever her name is. Sydney Sky! Oh, it's my bad. You know what I mean. Ooh. Whatever. Baby better than that. <laughs> like, no. Ooh. So then she can talk about something for real, for real. But anyway, uh, her and Rich is talking and... He like, you know, you can't be doing what you was doing and such. And I'm like, Rich, calm down. Because the girl, honestly, she did not even do that much. She really was making fun of old girl at Wildin'. Like, she wasn't really arguing back and forth on her. She was just like, girl, you're whack. Like, she was just being goofy. But she wasn't really out here. You could tell Jenniski was not out here really trying to fight this lady. She wasn't, she wasn't even getting loud. Like, so I was like, I guess, I guess she could have, she should have just walked away. I guess that was the best way to handle it. But it's just like, Rich, you were the last person. Person to be telling anybody how to act at any event as many times as you didn't act up without this stuff cut it out but he's talking to her about you know this is what i can do for you da, 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 da. And i think she mentioned something about she wants to be on the radio yeah and he's like oh well i can i'm gonna try to hook that up for you and he did and so as soon as um, they get up talking about that who walks in pressure pressure with a ph dripping Mm-hmm. Is it pressure or fresher? Fresher. Oh, it's fresher. Okay, yeah, it's my fresher. bad, y'all. Fresher walks in and he come in on 10, yo. Why every time they get a new dude, why they be so animated? He is so, like, on 10. He was blindsided, though. Yo, but it's okay. Okay, it's a different... You, you know, if you're blindsided, then you take that and you walk out. Like, he was just so loud. He came in, well, why you got me in here with this man and I don't know that? Like, it was like, sir, calm down. Why are you so animated? His eyes be like, even in the confession, be like, Jenna Ski, she don't want to stay on me. I can't afford to lose her. You know, she's a bag, da, da, da. And I'm just like, why are you talking so animated? Like, so, and he's so loud. I was like, boy, shut up. You ain't doing it for her. And then she was like, well, pressure, you know, you ain't really been, pressure, you ain't really done nothing for me. Rich been doing stuff for me. You know, you got me looking crazy. And then Jen Ski was just like, how you go control business? You can control your, wow, your B. Yeah, I can't. She made a point, but I don't know. That was just disrespectful. Yeah, you didn't have to call the girl out name. And I'm mad he didn't defend her. He sure did it. He didn't. He didn't. I thought he was gonna be like, "Don't call my lady." Don't yeah, be he just shot no. He was like, "No, like I got that." Or right. He was just like, "Don't worry about that." Like I'm gonna let bygones be bygones. And of course, Jenski's like, "Well, you know, I have known him for a long time. He knew me since I was a background dancer to like making she said it." Dance. She did say dance. Yeah, dance. but we know that. <laughs> They're trying to, I feel like my girl be saying backup dancer, but they be cutting out the backup. So we put dance in the edit. Because you know they be messing around in the edit room. But anyway. That's funny. So she was just saying, I don't know such a long time just to like dead our friendship over this one little issue with his baby mama. Like she been a big deal. She was just like, you just need to tell her that there is literally nothing going on between you and me. Like you need to like. Not only tell her, but make her like feel that and will and know that's true for facts. And low key, unless it proves to be different, she really got that. I low key kind of believe her. I don't really feel like nothing went has happened between her and and Fresha. What you think? Mm, maybe not. Mm-hmm. I give it a benefit of the doubt. I don't know. I just I feel like I how she, the energy she added, she's not really giving the energy like she messed with him before. I don't know. But, um, anywho, so after that scene, Richie D promised on his, uh, makes a good on his promise, and 
here we are again at Hot 97. I'm like, most must got a contract with Hot 97 because every single time somebody got to make a little radio appearance, we at Hot 97. Because mind you, this is also where... Uh, where we got first introduced to Fresh Up, where he was with Papoose, and they was with DJ, uh, little white boy, DJ Drew, and now they was with some other DJ, I, name escapes me, um, but he, probably a real DJ, I would say, um, but, so she's getting there, and she's doing her little rap, and da, 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 and she was like, this feels good, because last time I was, because apparently, when Fresh was the first time that we seen them with Papoose, apparently Janoski was there, but I guess she, Confirmed, she was but in I the didn't background. Know. I didn't know. But then I guess that makes sense with the scene that they had where she met Jen for the first time, and Jen felt like she was disrespecting her, when she was just like, oh, me and you need to speak, or you, uh, well, she told uh, Fresh that you and me need to talk. So, which now she's like, well, the first, last time I came, I was kind of in the background. Now I'm in the forefront. You know, Richie D has been doing good on his world. And Richie D just spits that old greasy ball game like he always does. <laughs> like, well, I done did two freebies for you. You know, you running out of freebies. You know, I need exclu exclusivity on my side. You know, I understand you're cool with fresher, but, you know, you said that you wanted a showcase. I got you a showcase. I got everybody there for you. So you want to be on the radio? Boom, easy. I hooked you up, put you on the radio. You know, it's been easy. So I'm just saying, you know, I just need, I need for you to just pick a side. And then, of course, she goes, okay, I'm down with you. And she, apparently she is not going with pressure. You know, she's like, girl, Richie D. It's going to be a mess. It's, it's a what mess. History have shown. Like. Like the Little Mermaid sign over you. <laughs> Words, so I don't know what you like. And then he made like a weird little joke talking about something. Yeah, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. We're gonna sit there. You're gonna sign your life away. And I'm like, girl, you're real. <laughs> he joking. But like my mama used to say, uh, a lot of jokes, at least got 50% of the truth in it. Okay? So, so yeah, child. We know she young. We're gonna see what ends up with Miss Janoski. So. All right, let's move on to the next topic. Before we end that, let's talk about um, Jen real quick, trying to kick pressure out. Briefly, briefly, I briefly. I don't want to talk about these people. Like, un unnecessary. <laughs> you don't have to do that on purpose. For real. I mean, there really ain't nothing to talk about. Like, either. honestly, it's like, girl, the first thing he said about this lady was that she was loyal. AKA, anytime a nigga says somebody loyal or that's mine, she's been loyal for forever. That means I done put her through all my bull crap. I have cheated on her several times and she ain't going nowhere. That's what loyal means. Let us know if y'all agree with that or not. It's fine. <laughs> Nine out of ten. You've been with somebody for 20 years and the best thing you can say about them is that they're loyal. They're not mad. I mean, mind you, the twenties had they met each other in middle school, but still, that's the best that you can say about somebody that had two of your kids is that she's loyal. Oh, Jan. Not that she's amazing, that she's wonderful, that she's a great mom. She does this for me. That she's loyal. You already know this man. I cheated on this lady several times, and she stays every time. So I don't know why she's trying to huff and puff like she finna leave this man. So anyway. He walk up into the house. They do this like little jump scene, and she comes up behind him, just pushes him out the way. And I was like, "Yo, yo, they need to get an Emmy for this." Yo, they they just they, they're trying to do different angles up in the show. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, what the took show. me out with that shot?" And so she's packing up all this stuff. Apparently, ever since that night um, with Janoski. Uh, Fresh has been spending out at his grandma oh, house gosh. and she's been in the house with the kids. So I'm a little confused on whose stuff she's packing up. I'm a little lost that the kids or was that his stuff? She's packing up some... <laughs> My bad. She's packing up somebody's stuff. He's trying to stop her and he's like, no, like, you understand that, you know, nothing was going on. Da, 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 da. And she's like, no, the problem is not with these. It's you. The respect starts with you. It's just you don't respect me, they don't respect me. So you don't want to respect me, that's it. Because she was like, I don't put up with this long enough. And that's why when she's seen them just holding hands, she automatically thought something's up because they have been down this road probably several times. And so she's like, I'm not going through this again no more with you. D da da D. Um, and she's arguing back and forth with him, and she like, 
I can think she threw something at him. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But then she just pushed him out of the house. And he's like, no, we got to fix this for the family. You know, for the family. She's like, well, what family? You ain't thinking about the family when you out here talking to this girl. She said, I thought I was going to be... You know, I thought I was gonna be, you know, the, you know, standing right beside you with your company, your business. Though I don't have time to be trying to to argue and fight with these little bimbos no more because you keep putting me through this stuff or whatever. And so he like, no, we gotta figure out how to fix this. I'm like, sir, you have to fix this. What do she gotta fix? Well, first of all, she gotta stop. Well, she, she should have just been left, but so she just stuck in what she in now, cause sis. People are only going to let you treat them the way you allow them to treat you. And you have allowed him to use you as a doormat since this part, so that's what he's going to continue to do. Right. So it, it's, it is what it's going to be with that. So that's why I'm just feeling. There's a waste of, waste of time. Nothing's going to change. I doubt she's going to kick him out. He's probably going to do some grand gesture in the next episode, and all will be well, probably. So that's all we see it. Um, she kick him out the house. So she acting like she ain't gonna let him back in. But child, we all know that ain't gonna happen. So next next case or oh, next person. <laughs> Sending Jonathan karaoke. What's the yo? First of all, <laughs> how y'all doing karaoke? I, let me say if I'm wrong. <laughs> karaoke. I thought you were supposed to be reading words on a screen. Why the TV over here? TV ain't even on. They could at least put the TV on. Sitting them on the other side of it with a little karaoke machine in front of the mirror just probably ain't singing not a dog on thing. And they they just sitting out there singing and bobbing and stuff because they fit to get together and play catch up. And of course, Jonathan gonna be messy and tell her what happened at the showcase. Juju comes in. Juju come in. Yo, why did you be wearing these towel suits everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't tell Juju this was a casual night man. Like since you're going to somebody's house Like you had a business meeting Like Juju be suited and booted All the time she is ready oh my We God. get it girl you are a big woman <laughs> Like we get it Period Juju, She been suited and booted up this whole season I haven't missed a beat Right I'm like, that ain't Sid just got a leg in a t-shirt on a John just got shorts in a t-shirt on like Sid. Where you going? But I love Juju. She's beautiful. Oh, she but really is. Anywho, they started letting her know. Because apparently Jonathan said he was too drunk. He doesn't remember all the details of why he was yelling at Tahiri during the showcase. Because he was too drunk. Oh, no. So he wanted Juju there to explain to make sure he wasn't misconstrued in anything. Right. And so they're like, yeah, we talking to, and so Juju let her know, like, hey, yo, we was talking to Tahiri at the uh, showcase, and she starts to tell us how it seems like Erica's trying to put her and Joe together, and we was like, girl, that's not right or whatever, and this is, you know, whatever, whatever, and Tahiri kind of just seemed unbothered by it, and they're telling us to see it, and of course, Sid, Sin is not happy about that. Right. And she's like, well, I don't know, like, what's going on or whatever, but I'm finna, I guess, finna get down to the nitty gritty of it. Because I don't see why Erica will be trying to play matchmaker with my ex fiance and his ex. Like, why would she be doing that? Like, it kind of seems like she's trying to pull the puppet strings or something like that. And I don't appreciate that or whatever. So, then, um, I mean, I mean yeah, I think that was it. Is that, is that what that yeah, was that saying? That. Okay. okay. So then we get Sid singing in the booth. And low key, I ain't gonna lie, I first heard, I was like, who it is? It was like, you don't act like cause you was like that too. Don't yeah, well, I said, who it is? We was like, who is this? It was like, Sid was in the booth singing a little hot out there. Ah, a dog, y'all, I forgot the words. I was said I was gonna remember them too. And she, cause she was singing to me. No, no mistakes or something like that. Something mistakes. And she was just singing. And then who pops up? Joe pop up. Like doing a little ditty about to her. I was like, yo, when I tell y'all, Joe's so funny to me. He do not be taking that stuff serious. That nigga be hilarious. I was, I went back and watched some old episodes too with Joe, when Joe was first on there. That man is so funny on here. Yeah, he brought the show when he came. He did. When y'all went to Harry first came, you can't tell me. They, they brought the fire season. They but the season show. three? The Yo, show. that was lit. But anyway. They brought the fire. <laughs> hey, Joe is hilarious. And he, to me, he's so good looking. That's just me. But anyway, I can't help it. He's nice looking to me. I can't help it. But anyway, um... I mean, clearly, like, the young things, me and Sid about the same age, so what to do, Joe? Um, but anyway, 
So she talking to him and she's like, well, what's this that Erica is talking about um, uh, with Tahiri? And she was just like, so what y'all got going on? And Joe in drill fashion, he's very <laughs> nonchalant. He's like, well, I don't know what you mean. We happened to link up because I saw her at Safari's housewoman that she invited me to. And then we went shopping for the wedding. But that was that was it. And she was just like, well, I don't know who y'all think I mess with, but I'm not the one. And Joe was sitting there unfazed, like, okay. And, like, girl, you ain't scaring Joe. You ain't scaring nobody. But she was just like, well, I'm not the one or whatever. Like, if you, because you, you say you don't want to do anything that hurt me or anything like that. So why would you be even making moves like that with her if you didn't want to look no type of way? And he was like, well, you know, I don't want people out here trying to make it seem like that it's not. She's right. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, made it look that way. But I'm trying to convince her there's nothing going on. If she believes me, then she don't believe there's nothing else I can do. Is where Joe is at. And so then after that, after her and Joe talk, she meets up with... All of a sudden, we get the scene with her, Jonathan, and... Erica meeting up to, I guess, discuss everything. Yes. And then we get the... I'm tired of these little flashback scenes that we ain't seen before, and then y'all just want to add them in. Because then you get this flashback scene that we didn't see of Jonathan and Sid just going on. Jonathan just like, well, she's trying to, like, date your ex-man, and that's not right, because that was your dude. I'm just like, Jonathan, why are you so involved in this again? I'm lost. I didn't even know why he went with them. I guess to be mediator, because, you know, he swears he's just, I'm just trying to keep the peace between all the ladies. It didn't feel that ladies. way. It didn't feel that way. It really didn't. So, basically, he sat down. But and Erica said, can hold her own, like, <laughs> of <course>. pregnant and all. <laughs> right. So, they sit down, and he gives her, he gives Erica a hug, and Sim is there, and he said, well, before we start, can y'all just say hey to each other? Miss. And Erica <laughs> goes, hi. She goes, hey. <laughs> and then Sid, she won't even say hi. So what is this about you trying to put uh, Tahiri and Joe together? And she was like, well, I just could see this. Like, you know, this is obviously, there's this great chemistry between them. And, you know, they have so much history. Like, I just feel like, you know, they would be good back together. You buying it? Erica, I mean, I kind of feel like I don't... I don't see what malicious intent she would have. I don't think she was like, oh, let me put Tahiri and Joe together to make Sid miserable. Like, I, I kind of don't believe that. That's just me. I kind of <laughs> don't believe that. But maybe I can be naive. <laughs> what, you think, you, she, you think she is? I I think that is. Yeah, I think that is some motives. So you think she's doing it to get back at Sid? I think so. I just don't see why. I feel like... I don't know, I just like Sid, her and Sid, it was so long ago. I kind of just feel like it's one of those things where your friend just be picking. Like, you ever had a friend, and then, like, you know, they know you and somebody. Or, like, you don't like somebody, and they be like, oh, there go your friend. You know, there go your friend. You know, you be trying to, like, pick fun. Like, that's how I kind of felt like with with the Erica situation. Like, I kind of felt like she just like, oh, Tahiri, like, ha huh, huh, like, look at this, like, look at you, and da-da-da, like, but knowing that her friend, like, doesn't want this person anymore, or doesn't want that person, I think she's just trying to pick fun, I don't And then, all of a sudden, C just hits us with the waterworks, like, she's, like, going, talking to Erica, she's like, can I just, can I just tell you what, to be honest, this has been really hard. And then the fact that my ex is trying to get my ex fiance, but really, it's just messy. A whole bunch of it's just a whole bunch of mess, and I just don't have the energy for that right now. I just don't. And then Erica's like, "Girl, stop with the crocodile tears. Like Savage. you be acting like you you around here acting like you're so happy that you two are not together. What is the big deal?" And then, like, Jonathan's like, well, Erica's kind of seem like you're trying to do stuff with Sid. She's like, I'm not. She's like, because Sid was like, I feel like you as a pregnant woman, you should, like, know better. You should be feeling like, and Erica's like, what? Like, I don't be clocking for you like that. Like, I'm not thinking about you like that. I'm not thinking about, like, oh, this is going to affect Sin or nothing like that. She was like, I, I don't be clocking for you. I don't think about you like that. And also, if I'm over my baby daddy, like, I have a baby daddy, and I could care less about who that man is dating. 
So why should you catch? She was like, but Erica, it just happened like a couple of months ago. Like, you should be a little bit more. I guess she just felt like Erica could have been more considerate because it hasn't been as long as, I guess, as long as Erica and her baby daddy has been broken up. And she was like, you know, you could just be more considerate about it. And then, next thing you know, Sid hops on the phone and she's like, hello? Yeah. Wait, did you, what's wrong with Lex okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it not? And you, she just gets up and walks away from the table to answer her phone call. I guess something was going on with the baby. And so, uh, she, you know, she walks up on the table and Eric is just like, well, I don't understand why she's trying to act like I have any loyalty to her when I don't. So I don't feel like I have no loyalty to her. The only person's side that I'm kind of on is uh, Tahir, Tahiri's and Joe's. And that's it. Like, I don't feel like I owe, I don't feel like I owe her any explanation. She right. And that's that on that. So since we're already on Erica, let's, let's get into Erica and Safari's storyline. I just, I, another couple, I just feel like they're just pulling stuff out for her storyline. Because if they're not going to tell the truth about that, that whole Gabby situation, I don't want to hear nothing else they got to say. Because they keep skirting around the Gabby situation. We all just want to know the truth about what happened with that. But it looked like they ain't going to tell us. So, anyway. So, um... They in a uh, house or whatever they written out, child. And Safari just chilling on the bed. And Erica is in full glam cleaning the kitchen counter. I'm like, get out of here. They already know. It's thicker than thin, that stuff. But anyway, um, Safari shot Tata. He's like, you know, ever since after, you know, the showcase and we talked to Yandy, you know, you've been acting like real... Real, like, you know, real funny, like, real different. Like, you know, everything's been off. And she's like, so far, like, I don't understand what you don't understand. I just feel like you lied to me because you you made it seem like you wasn't going to invite her, but then you did invite her. And so far as being childish, and he's like, I didn't invite her. I asked her a question. So if any time you ask somebody, do they want to go somewhere? Or would you mind going somewhere? That's the invitation. What do you mean? You said... If I, if I do invite you, would you come? Which means that you do want to invite me. That's the intent of what the text message that you're saying. You might not have said that per se, but when you say, if I'm going to invite you, if you're not um, thinking about inviting that person or wanting or wanting them to be invited, you wouldn't even have said that. So Erica's like, stop playing with me. You're playing around. Like you did, you did invite her. And Safari keeps saying the same thing. Like, no, I didn't invite her. I'm just no. I just asked her a question. Asked her a question. It's not inviting somebody. She was like, Safari, stop playing. Like now, I just feel like you're trying to make me look stupid. And you also already are already kind of feel like you're lying. You're not considering my feelings. And so she gets mad and like kind of like walks off. And then Safari's, like, following her. And she's just like, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And he's like, no, like, you my other half. And she's like, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And she's, like, getting upset. She, like, walks upstairs and cut that scene. So, of course, in love and hip-hop fashion, instead of, you know, going talking to your future wife and hashing out your problems, what does Safari do? Books a salsa dancing lesson class with, with, Tahiri, with Tahiri. I love it. <laughs> you open with this little flamingo, like this little shirt open, and it. the lady who was teaching the class, she was ready. She had a little makeup, her hair done. Her little outfit was cute, baby. She, she said, "I'm ready. gonna, I'm gonna get this little ten minutes." Um, but they do some couple. I didn't even do a whole little dance. They did a couple little steps, and the lady walked out. And so he tell her what happened, and, and of course. Erica already done talk to Tahiri about this before they hey. even meet up. Because she's like, no, you was wrong about that. Like, you try to make it seem like, you know, whatever. She's like, no, like, I just kind of want to get the invitation. This whole thing got the way. So <laughs> 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 and so... <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't completely forgot what I was talking about, you guys. I'm sorry. Talk about he finally understand the intent behind not keeping it real with Erica, like being truthful and Tahiri just finally getting him on the right path and now he did a three sixty. Like I understand what you mean, like I'm gonna go make it up to my girl and that's what leads to the makeup. Yeah. It was cute. I'm acting know, like it wasn't a movie. Oh, it was cute now. <laughs> I want the rose I, mean, I, mean, I need my man to do me some stuff like that. I mean, I need him to just because, not because he lying up and caught up in some stuff, okay? I need him to do it 
just because he wants to show his love to me, okay? But that was real cute how he had the set up. He branded out some type of love pant. That's what pressure should be, should be doing. Yeah, but he he too broke. He can't he can't afford that. Oh, so he say I don't understand pressure anyway because like one week he talking about he telling um Janoski that he can blow out his oh, money yeah, on her, on her then, body. Yeah, then the next week he he Alan, he can barely afford to move his family out the Bronx to his house in New Jersey. Out like, the Bronx. <laughs> that's what he said. I'm just telling what the man said. Anywho, he ain't got the money like Safari. Safari done got this whole thing with these roses and of course Erica walk in and she's like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. He's like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, I see what you mean now. And I'm they sorry. They somebody everywhere. Like, what place they was at this time? <laughs> they ran out a new place. Right. Like, like, he ran out some little penthouse. Or Ooh, some little that Nicki together. Minaj money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't tell me he didn't get some royalties off of some of them earlier. He t- you can't tell me he said he, he didn't feel like getting royalty checks. Right. <laughs> you can't tell me he didn't get no royalties off of that. <laughs> And then she say, yo, oh, uh, well, SB. Like, you can't tell me he ain't getting no, no checks off of that. No royalty checks. But anyway. Um, and then she was surprised at her gift. I guess. She was like, I mean, it did look like a nice watch, though. I ain't gonna flex. That was his second proposal. That was his second proposal. Even though I'm like, y'all didn't even break up. Like, nothing happened. But okay. Then he apologized. And he tell her he's sorry. And then he pulled out this really nice watch. She said, like, Oh my God, I've always wanted a watch like this, but this is the one that I wanted. And so he put the watch on her and they kiss and everything's all to the good with the Sam Samuels. Is that the last name? Samuel? Samuels. There we go. So finally got it right. It's all good with them. Everything is good in the neighborhood. So uh, I think that's it for this episode, right? So we got next week. Next week, we get into uh, Mandisi coming home. So, we're going to see Miss Judith. I know her name is Judy. You was talking about her wig. <laughs> that baby, the bet that thing was back here. Like, sis, pull it down a little bit. Um, but we got Yandy dealing with that. And, of course, might come with some legal issues because, you know, she does have the foster child. I and mean, is a con, ex-con. So, it might be some legal situations with that. So, she's going to have to deal with... Um, Look like uh, Richie D and Pressure gonna have some type of bump in, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, possibly. Again, or something like that. I feel like I saw that in the scene. seen previews. Jada and Jen. Oh, yeah. Apparently, some new girl coming on the scene named Jada. Because I guess they was like, Janoski, she not finna pimp herself out like that and do stuff with this man. So let's ask this other girl to act a fool. So we're going to meet this new girl named Jada. Apparently, uh, Fresha used to work with her and she said he owes her some money. And of course, Jen ain't having that. So they going to, I guess, get into it maybe or whatever. Uh, I saw that going on. It was something else that, we, that I saw in the previews, but... I, I can't remember. Me I do either. I do apologize. Uh, I really don't. But yeah, you guys, so yeah, we will be back next week with another love and hip hop review. Okay. So we should we go ahead and tell them about mm, What about it? <laughs> you know you can i just want to get in on the loot <laughs> you already know okay so y'all we're not going we're not going to do a review of my hair oh, okay <laughs> like i'm like i don't understand what you don't get what i'm trying to say but anyway <laughs> we're not doing um miami you guys it's it'd be a lot to do this and i had a lot of stuff to do today and i didn't get here as early as i normally do so we do not have the time to do miami but we promise we will be back next week with an episode of you of Miami, okay. So yeah, and the, to me, honestly, the first episode of Miami, it wasn't to me, it wasn't that popping. So I watch it. I mean, I watched half. We watched half of it, and it wasn't nothing like super intriguing to me. But anywho, with that being said, we will see you next week, you guys. It's been me, your girl Lex D M U A, and this has been my boy Jeffrey Taylor from Jeffrey Show Live, and we out.